In this example, we are given a function, which we're told is an affine cipher, and we're asked to find the decryption function, or the decryption cipher. So what we need to do is start by saying, okay, this function, it's going to give an output. That output's going to be y. That's going to be congruent to 233x minus 17 uh, mod 26. All right, and if we want to invert this, just like we would do in a calculus class, you don't have to go through all this exactly as I'm going to do it, but I want this to be as close to a calculus class as you would expect. So what are we going to do? We're going to switch the roles of x and y and then try to solve for y. Okay, so if we switch these roles, then what we end up with is our new equation or congruence here. It says that x is congruent to 233y minus 17 mod 26. All right, and this mod 26 is just kind of hanging out. It's applying to the entire the entire statement right here, right? So this can stay on either side. You can move it over to the right, to the left, sorry, if we need to. But what we need to do is try to solve for y. So let's just start with the easiest thing. We need to add 17, right, to both sides. So here we get what? This is going to say x plus 17 is congruent to 233y, the whole thing, mod 26, right? And now what we need to do is get rid of this 233. So the 233, remember there's no division, right? But the 233, first of all, can be reduced mod 26. And then we can try to find its inverse mod 26. Okay? So let's do it. So 233 mod 20, we, first we just do some division, right? So I'm just going to start working this out. So 233 divided by 26, that's going to be, uh, what, 9? So 1 Third, no, it's going to only going to be 8, right? So it's going to be 8. So this is going to be 208. We subtract. So that just leaves us with 25, right? So the remainder is 25, or in this case, it's negative 1. All right? And negative 1 is, is a nice number to use. So what we have now is that x plus 17 needs to be congruent to negative 1 y mod 26, right? And then we multiply back through. We multiply everything by the negative 1 because the inverse of negative 1 is negative 1, right? So that's a nice number to have to deal with. So we, again, multiply the entire congruence by negative 1. And this is, again, all mod 26, reduce mod 26. And let's see what happens. Well, now we end up with negative x, or negative 1x, minus 17. All right, congruent to, we multiply by negative 1. So we've got our y. And this is all mod 26, right? So if we reduce mod 26, this is perfect. But I'm going to write this as negative 1 and put back in the variables mod 26, right? The numbers mod 26. So this is going to become 25x. And then adding 26 to this one is going to give us 9, right? So plus 9 is congruent to y mod 26. And this tells us then that our decryption function, d of x, is equal to or congruent to 25x plus 9 mod 26. And there you go. That's all you have to do. So it's just like uh, solving a linear congruence, but uh, rearranging it so you solve for a variable, right, and put it back in function form. And that's all you have to do.